off on an adventure. I want to discover something amazing, something that no one has ever seen before. Because discoveries like that can make you famous, you know. And I wouldn't mind my name in a textbook. Okay, get looking. I need to find something amazing. Oh, something incredible. Hey, I think I found something. Look. Uh, maybe that's not quite what I had in mind. You know, it could be quite tricky finding something brand new here on Earth. I might have to look elsewhere. I might have to try another planet. Yeah! What's it like to live on another planet, hmm? Pretty crazy. Because mm, there's no oxygen and you just die because of the carbon dioxide. It will be different and with rare people. Probably I'll see a lot of aliens, probably. I don't think there'll be other people that won't come to another planet. There will be no school. No play every time or work every time. No. It'll be cool because there will be no more people there and you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I agree. I think it would be really fun to live on another planet for a while, discovering things that no one's ever seen before. Let's do it! Oh, first of all, I need an interplanetary device. Where am I going to find one of those? I'll just have to invent one. Where's my toolkit? One toolkit. Now for one interplanetary device. Hey, no, peeking, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, one interplanetary device. It's an interplanetary hula hoop. Not only will it take me from planet to planet, I'll be burning off calories at the same time. Right, where are we going to go? How about Mercury? Yeah, it's the planet closest to the sun, and it's bound to be incredible. Get ready for liftoff. Welcome to planet Mercury. Wow. It's the planet closest to the sun. But the most amazing thing about this planet is one year only takes 88 days. And you know what that means? It means every 88 days that I live on this planet, I get to have a birthday with lots of presents. Oh, thank you. How about that? That means a birthday four times a year. Four times a year? That means I'd be four times as old as I really am. Oh, I don't know if that's good or not. And I'll tell you what, it is getting very cold. Oh, I need a jacket. Oh, thank you. Ugh. Oh, no. I need another jacket. It's freezing. Oh. I can't believe how cold it is. Oh, what can the temperature be? Oh, oh, what? Minus 180 degrees? No wonder it's cold. Water freezes at zero degrees. Oh, I'm not too sure if I like this planet. Well, oh, hang on. Now it's getting warm. Ooh. Now it's getting really hot. I'm going to take this off too. Oh, it is so hot. Oh. Oh. And I'm parched. I need some water. 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 There's no water on this planet. It is so hot. What can the temperature be now? I don't believe it. 420 degrees? Water boils at 100 degrees? No wonder there's no water here. <sighs> Come on. I know there's lots of birthdays, but let's get out of here. I don't like this planet. Let's go to Mars. Get ready for liftoff. Here we are on Mars. Let's check it out. Oh, nice use of the color red. Who's the decorator? Planet Mars is the fourth planet out from the sun, just the one after Earth. 
and it's very famous. Oh yes, it's been written about in many science fiction books. You know, aliens, Martians. I can't see too many Martians here today, and I can't see anything to eat, and I'm starving. I wonder if I could nibble on one of these red rocks. Mm, maybe not. Do you know why the soil's red here? It's because of rust. Mm-hmm. Iron oxide. It's everywhere. Oh, you do get water here too. Ice caps, just like you do on Earth. But nobody's too sure if there's any rivers or seas, so swimming probably isn't an option. But what are we going to do then? How about sightseeing? Yeah, because there's volcanoes and canyons and riverbeds and dunes and pizza parlors and... Okay, there aren't any pizza parlors. Well, what's that? Uh-oh. I think that is a dust storm. And I've heard about those. They're really dangerous and they go really, really fast and Mars has lots of them. Um, it's getting closer. Uh, come on, let's get out of here. How about we try Jupiter, okay? Oh. Here we are at Jupiter. Oh, nice color combination, I like it. Well, Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system and it's very popular. It has lots of friends, moons. There's Eo, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. Hi guys. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, that's one thing about Jupiter. It's the smog. Oh, the smog's thick here. And there's a lot of it. The planet is 318 times bigger than Earth. It's ginormous. So even if you had your own map book, Thank you. You'd probably still get lost. The place is just so big. And if you went to visit a friend, it could take you weeks. Mind you, a day in Jupiter is only nine hours and 55 minutes. So a day goes by quite quickly. But one year on Jupiter is 12 years on Earth. Imagine having to wait 12 years for your birthday. Oh, I don't think so. I'm going home. You coming? We're off. So what's it like to live on another planet? Well, I guess you could say it's interesting. The first planet we visited was Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. And the extremes of temperature, Whoa. one minute freezing cold, the next minute extremely hot. Mind you, if you live on Mercury, you get to have a birthday every 88 days. Now that can't be bad. Well, then we went to Mars, that dusty red planet with the huge dust storms. Whoa. That's a real downside. And Jupiter, the planet that is so, so big. If you wanted to go and get some milk, it would probably take you six months to drive to the dairy. Maybe you and your friends could work out how old you'd be on planet Mercury, or how long you'd have to wait for a birthday on Neptune or Pluto. If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World program, write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Have fun. No, it could be try, try. And it's probably got lots of good things about it. And heaps of science fiction books. Sorry, I'm a bit stumbled. The rivers or oceans. So swimming's probably out of there. Out of there. I'm going to go Thanks to New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.